Hi everyone, this is Gator Gidge. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the inspiration colors. for painting the shed. So I'm gonna come over here to the paint and we we'll use the Sherwin-Williams paint midnight blue for all of the trim and the door that's because we have that midnight blue trim on our house and then for the main body color we used a Valspar Duramax on the shed exterior paint primer and it took about three coats of course Woody prepped everything with the caulking As you can see, it's called Coco Island Exterior. And I took the inspiration for that off of our brick. Looked for the rich colors in the brick and ended up with a beau beautiful, beautiful, hi everybody. Grass is starting to get green. We're still doing some last minute touch up. Have a step ladder there. And back to our completed shed. The man cave. And a little glimpse of the saw horses there doing some last minute work and clean up. Enjoy this video. Oh, and I have to tell you about this quirkiness over here. Because of the shortage of materials, we have temporarily put a different um, skirting. So they ran out of this material and we had to switch to this white. So it goes from a beige to white and we'll eventually change that out anyway here's my reflection Woody, what are you doing? I am installing the downspout for my wife's shed. It's my shed. 
cats out of the bag. It's Woody's shed. It's Woody's shed, it's not the she shed. shed. The gutter, so I can uh, attach a downspout just like that one over there. Over there to the left. And you only get one shot at it. Wrong. Buying a new gutter. This is the one he already completed. And we have a little bit of sprinkles going on right now. The weather, let me show you the view of our beautiful mountains. Majestic mountains, nice hiking trails. Okay, so this is the, the gutter that he's completed. <clears throat> he's going to be installing the gutter along this uh, area here. you can have a beautiful view of our mountains. It's a nice cloudy day today. Look at those clouds, just gorgeous. And we have a huge alley between us and our neighbors in the back, which is really nice for privacy. Let's go check on the progress. Oh, look, it's in. You can see at the bottom here. There we go. Great job. It's, it's glued in with gutter cement so it doesn't leak. And now I have to let it dry for a little while before I do any more to it. I don't want to move it around. All right. Sounds like a great plan. So let's see where the progress is right now in this tight area. Oh my goodness, he already put the gutter up. I was hoping to catch him in action. So I'm going to do a walk around, show you everything that's been completed with the shed. Um, this is the little front area, which is nicely connected to our patio. And if we walk around the corner, you can see there's the sidewalk here and a, and a gate. It's kind of a strange angle. So this shed wraps around this area here. And that's the uh, side yard and the front area, the neighbors across the street, more mountains. And here's another tight little spot. And another downspout gutter attached to the fascia and a 
because we came to the sockets. Okay, so if we, we turn around, you can see a different angle. And I'm going to step out. So I'm going to step out of this gate to show you the front. Close the gate so Sassy doesn't come running out. Or Wiley. Okay, see a nice oleander and the fencing that matches our house. And there's the shed, the other side of the shed. With the gable roof line, nice trim again. And the back wall to our neighbors. And as you can see, this is our house, so we tied in the paint colors with the main house. So it's just the cutest shed. Actually quite a good size. I'm not sure of the dimensions. I would have to ask Woody, but he's not here right now. So let's continue to walk around the other side. into the patio, the patio hangout area, and there's the other side of the shed, and again, it's a gable roof line there, and there's the moon. Our neighbors have a huge workshop. And then, of course, the back side um, have a ladder back here that we need to put away. So you can see we actually stuccoed these walls. And we will do another project eventually finishing finish these walls, contemplating adding more cinder blocks to the top for more privacy. So this is Gator Gidge signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao, ciao.